I built this trailer wiring breakout box to assist in troubleshooting an issue I had with my RV's brake wiring. While there are products that exist that can test both the tow vehicle and trailer, I didn't find any products that allow testing of both units while they're operational, that is, when they are hooked together. I use the term breakout box simply because this box provides access to each of the functions of the wiring harness. The breakout box monitors brake current by the build and ammeter as well as being able to measure the voltage for any function. Such as you see here, I've got the voltmeter on brake and I've got the current shows activity on the brake, left and right, which actually is brake light, and there you go. This can be useful, for example, when determining if you have an excessive voltage drop or loss of current. This could indicate faulty wiring connections or not properly sizing the wire gauge when the trailer was first wired. In addition, you can monitor any of the lines of the breakout box with a digital voltmeter by plugging into one of these. However, I prefer using an analog meter as it often shows the dynamics of the operation better than the digital voltmeter. Let me demonstrate. I'm going to connect a digital voltmeter to the breakout box. And to connect the voltmeter, you need either some banana plugs like this, or you need a set of test leads that have banana plugs built in. And then I'm going to plug into the left turn signal here and here, and I'm going to turn this to the left turn signal. You can see exactly what's going on with an analog meter. However, there are times you may want the accuracy, and now we can measure 13.87 volts, and we could never get that from that meter. So this allows you to measure with a digital voltmeter when you need to, but also allows the standard voltmeter to see what's going on a little bit easier. This graphic might illustrate the basic functionality of the breakout box. You basically insert the breakout box between the seven-way plug on the trailer and the trailer connector that's on the towing vehicle. And the brake current is always measured by the ammeter. The voltage is measured by the selection of the switch, and you can measure all the functions on the seven-way plug. And this graphic shows you a scenario where you may want to measure the brake voltage you can measure the voltage as it comes out of the towing vehicle here and then you can use a voltmeter and go to each brake and measure the voltage there and then see if you have a voltage drop issue. And also when we're measuring brake voltage one thing I have to point out is an insertion loss. The insertion loss comes from the voltage drop in the box itself which is from the wiring plus the ammeter shunt. And if you look at this graph, and of course this graph you can find on my website as well. The graph shows the brake current along the bottom and the voltage drop along the side. The higher the brake current, the more the voltage drop you have. That's just a matter of physics. So in this scenario, if we have 12 amps of brake current that we measured here, you can look at this graph and see that going up and then across, it crosses over to about 0.22 volts or 220 millivolts. So if you look at the 12.4 volts on the voltmeter, that's actually being taken after the insertion loss at the trailer connector. So if you want to know what the voltage actually was at the vehicle, then you have to take the 12.4 volts and add the 0.22 volts. So you can calculate that the trailer connector actually is 12.62 volts at the vehicle. In practical application this probably isn't going to make a big difference but just be aware of it. However I designed this to tap the voltmeter off at the trailer plug. If you measure a voltage drop from the trailer plug using this voltmeter to a brake then you know that voltage drop is entirely in the trailer itself. In a similar fashion you can measure the voltage at your taillights by selecting the taillight function on the voltmeter and of course turning the taillights on in the towing vehicle. So you can diagnose basic light issues as well. 
the sand meter, of course, is permanently connected to the brake line, so you're not going to measure any current when you're looking at the taillights. So hopefully you found this demonstration informative, and again, if you want to build one of these, I've got detailed instructions on my website at www.rv-project.com. So I encourage you to go to the website if you're looking at building one of these boxes. I've actually found it quite useful.